Hi guys, my name's Nathan, and today I'm going to be taking a look at PES 2016. This year's game is certainly an evolution in the series rather than a revolution. Some areas of the game have been changed a bit and polished up, however there are still a lot of silly little errors that detract slightly from the experience. So let's start off by looking at how the game plays. PES 2016 feels good to play and scoring a beautifully crafted goal can be incredibly satisfying. The gameplay can be much slower than that of FIFA and allows you to really change up your tactics to affect the match. It is completely viable to play a possession style game or go in completely the other direction and just hoof the ball long for your big striker to win in the air. Passing feels slick and players generally seem to be intelligent enough to offer support to the player with the ball and get in the right positions, although there are certainly occasions where defenders decide to go off and do their own thing, which leaves you vulnerable at the back. Other things can seem a bit odd as well, such as players not going for the ball when it is clearly theirs to be won. This doesn't happen all that often and doesn't really affect the gameplay too much. However, there are also aspects of the gameplay which could be described as overpowered, with chipping the goalkeeper being one of the more notable, as players seem capable of always gauging the perfect height to beat the keeper whilst keeping the shot under the bar. In terms of new mechanics, there doesn't appear to be much that is new and shiny. Instead, certain aspects of the game have been improved. For example, the game is now more physical than it was in previous iterations. However, while playing in the Master League mode, I came across this message, which seemed to indicate to me that there is a diving mechanic in the game, which I believe is new. I then came across this skill option in the Become a Legend mode, which pretty much confirms that diving is now in the game, which to me is a very interesting development, although I can see how some people would not appreciate what is effectively cheating being in the game. Personally, I like the added realism that this offers though. Overall, the slower, more methodical style of gameplay is a very good alternative to the end-to-end -end all action gameplay of the FIFA series for people who are looking for a more realistic football experience. At this stage though, I would like to have a little bit of a nag at the game about a couple of things. Firstly, I get that Konami doesn't have the license for some teams, and I get that teams can't be too close to real life. However, some of the kits that the teams start off with are absolutely woeful, with many teams playing in completely the wrong colour. The Liverpool kit that you're seeing on the screen right now is actually one of the better starting kits, and that shows you how bad the others must be. To the game's credit though, it does offer you the opportunity to edit kits and even upload realistic images via a USB drive. That however is the more minor of my little complaints here, as something that really irked me when I first turned on the game was the fact that the game currently does not have updated squads. My Liverpool team still has Steven Gerrard and Raheem Sterling in it for God's sake. Now Konami have indicated that an update for this is coming next week, but in my opinion one of the major reasons that people buy any sports game that is a yearly update is to play with the new players, and to release a game without the latest squads to me is completely unacceptable. However if you are watching this review any time after the first couple of weeks that this game is out, this will not be an issue for you. Moving on now to game modes and we come to one of my personal favourite modes in all games, and it's the Master League in all its beauty. The UI has been given a significant and much needed facelift as Konami have opted for a more visually engaging menu system that is a little reminiscent of the FIFA career mode menu. Okay, a, a lot reminiscent. The menus however remain fairly poor, with many functions found in different places than you might expect. For example, I would personally expect to find the ability to transfer list my players in the negotiations menu rather than under squad list. Despite this though, this year's Master League is yet again brilliant, as it offers you the chance to slowly build up your squad from a fairly poor second division team to be the best in the world. The transfer system is fairly robust, and the option to set regular points in the transfer window to perform your negotiations is a nice addition. The fact that starting players are now not completely awful is something that I was not a fan of in the past, as I would rather start off at the very bottom, but at least having decent players at the start makes the mode more accessible for people who are new to PES. Overall I have to say I love my time playing Master League and it's a testament to the mode that I struggle to tear myself away from Master League in order to test other parts of the game for this review. In the end though I did manage to leave Master League and go on to test the player career mode and the first thing you notice is the massive amounts of customization available as you are building your pro. The menus are again slightly suspect though, particularly when selecting a hairstyle, as rather than choosing a specific style you have to go through an initial menu and then through sub menus to get it just right. Once you've made your pro though, everything is once again pretty damn good. The training menu gives you a choice of how to develop your player, allowing you to cater to your own playstyle. The games themselves are fun to play in, however on higher difficulties the opponent can end up having a massive amount of possession, and my biggest gripe is that there is still no option to simulate the rest of a match once you've been subbed off. 
One other issue that I personally had was that I created my player as a second striker, and when I got my transfer to Southampton, or Hampshire Red as they're known in the game, they didn't play with anything like that position, and I ended up playing as a centre-back, a position for which my overall rating was 43. On the whole though, the mode is fun, and I honestly prefer the more natural player development than the instant increase in points that you get in FIFA for performing certain tasks. Now I quickly want to talk about the online divisions mode, which is basically online seasons from FIFA. However, in FIFA everyone gravitates to the best clubs, aka Real Madrid and Barcelona. In PES though, while these clubs are still the best, you get fewer points if you use them over a lesser team. This is a fantastic system as it means that teams don't need to be balanced, and it makes you think whether you want to use an overpowered team in an attempt to definitely win the game, or get more points by playing with a lower ranked side. In conclusion then, the game can be superb at times, and pretty frustrating at others. The gameplay itself is solid, and the Master League mode offers a very different experience than anything you'll find in FIFA, and is incredibly fun and very addictive. The good points are slightly spoiled by silly little errors that I don't think I would have complained about maybe two or three years ago, but it's 2015, and if you're leaving things in the game that anyone can see just aren't right, you should be called on it. However, if you can put up with that and you're looking for a more realistic, tactical football game, then this is definitely the game for you. And while I can't see Pez overtaking FIFA in terms of sales anytime soon, I am now glad that Pro Evo is now a real alternative for people who have grown tired of FIFA's style. That having been said, even though I will certainly be continuing on with my Master League and player career mode, I will definitely be picking up a copy of FIFA 16 too. So anyway guys, that's about it for this review of PES 2016. If you enjoyed the video or it helped you out at all, please leave a like and subscribe for more reviews of this year's top releases coming soon. Thanks for watching, I've been Nathan and I'll see you next time.